It's been a little over a year since Kick is released, and we have a lot more knowledge about the platform compared to my last video that I made almost a year ago. With that being said, I'm going to be going over the complete comparison and giving you all of the information you need to decide which platform is right for you in 2024. I'm going to be going over all of the pros and cons to Kick, as well as comparing it directly to Twitch to show you what platform is best for you to host your streams on. If you never heard of me, my name is Twatter, and I typically help people grow with their live streams. I actually run a management program where I work with streamers directly and make sure that they are doing everything necessary in order to grow with their live streaming brand. The biggest problem with live streaming is the fact that Twitch nor Kick has any form of algorithm that will put viewers in front of your streams. With that being said, you need to take this action into your own hands and post your content on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, etc. because these platforms have algorithms designed to put your content in front of new people. This is exactly why my management program is built around getting you engagement from high follower accounts on TikTok, etc. which will boost your personal algorithm and get your content seen by as many people as possible. That way you can start to direct this traffic to your live streams. If you are interested in getting direct one-on-one -on -one management, you could join my Patreon, which is the top link in my description, as long as I have a spot open. I have limited spots to make sure that I have enough time and resources to work with everyone. Now let's get right into the comparison of Twitch versus Kick. The biggest pro to Kick and the main reason why streamers are considering joining is the revenue split. Yes, it is true that Kick gives streamers 95% of their revenue that they earn from streaming. Let me give you a breakdown with a direct example so you can understand exactly what that means. Let's say you earn 100 subs on Twitch. Twitch takes 50% of all of your revenue that you earn, so technically these 100 subs would earn you about $500, which you only get to keep 50% of this, meaning you keep $250. On the other hand, with Kick, if you got the same 100 subscribers with a 95% revenue split, you get to keep 475 of your $500 that you earned. Now, this is great and no matter how much of a fan you are of Twitch, you can recognize that this is a huge advantage for Kick. Everyone wants to feel as if they are keeping the best percentage of the money that they are earning. However, when this revenue split was first announced, the community had a lot of doubts. How can Kick afford to give streamers a 95 to 5 split? How long will this platform last? Will it fail like Mixer? Where does it get all this money to sign these big streamers? Now that Kick streaming has been around for a little over a year, we have answers to all these questions. Number one, how can Kick afford to do this? It's simple. Kick is owned by Stake, which is an offshore online gambling casino. It has been confirmed that Aiden Ross was being paid three 335 Ethereum for gambling on stake live to his audience. This cost his stake over a half a million dollars for every one of his streams, so you know they must have been making a decent profit to be able to invest that type of money. Not only with Aiden Ross, but stake was everywhere on Twitch at this time. They were getting so much publicity from streamers live streaming their reaction to huge gambling wins. But all good things must come to an end, and in October of 2022, Twitch banned gambling on their platform. The twist was they didn't ban all of online gambling, only from certain websites that they didn't work with, such as stake. Stake knew that something had to be done because this was their entire source of new customers. How are they going to find new people to waste their money gambling if no one is showing live streamers getting huge, unrealistic gambling wins? That's when Stake got to work and developed the beta to kick and launched it right away. Instantly, Stake had multiple streamers ready to be paid to gamble on stream, but there was one major problem. People were starting to see through this, so Stake knew that they needed to create a smokescreen. They needed to create a fake reason why all these major streamers would want to be joining their platform to promote gambling. That's why they had this genius idea of a 95 to 5 split. And objectively speaking, it worked perfectly. You see, Kick never planned on making a profit or even breaking even with the 95 to 5 split. They knew that they could use this as a cover story as to why all of these new streamers are joining, but it worked way better than they expected. Not only did they have major streamers switching to promote gambling, now they have millions of small streamers switching over to Kick because of this revenue split. Now, I can see why all of you will think that I'm demonizing Kick and Stake, but honestly, it's an amazing business play and it was perfectly executed. I love and respect business, and even though it's definitely a scumbag move to push gambling, I could objectively say that it was a perfect idea and has been executed even better. Kick is okay with losing money because the attention getting drove to stake will always make them much, much more. That's why signing XQC to a $50 million stream deal makes sense, because he will be bringing an audience of millions that will lose their money gambling. Will it fail like Mixer? In my opinion, no it will not. Stake is making an absurd amount of money because of the traffic that Kick is driving to their platform. Unless they are shut down by the Better Business Bureau, I'm confident that they will be around for a long time, and the chances of them being shut down are slim to none considering that it's completely offshore. This all leads me to one simple question that I need to ask you. This answer to this question determines exactly where you should stream, so I suggest you being honest with yourself. Do you want to have more people watching your streams, or do you want to make more revenue from your streams? I'm not saying that to cast judgment or to persuade you on one way or the other. I, more than anyone, understand creating a business from live streaming. If you answered that you would like to have more viewers on average, then you should go with Twitch. At first glance, you may think that you're getting a lot more viewers on Kick, but in reality, Kick is a lot of bots. The reason that Kick does this is to make small streamers feel good about switching on the platform, make them feel like as if they have more viewers than ever. However, when you realize that no one is talking during your streams, you see that very little, if any of these people were real. With that being said, Twitch is a far larger viewership than Kick. Even though Kick is signing multiple major streamers, they still not have been able to build anywhere near of a size of viewership that Twitch has. However, if your goal is to strictly make as much money as possible from streaming, you should focus on Kick. You will definitely grow slower and it will take you a lot longer to reach your first 1,000 followers. However, you'll make that much more revenue on the way up. Let's give another direct example. Let's say you average 25 viewers and get 100 subs a month on Twitch. Let's say you move to Kick and only take 50% of your audience with you. That leaves you with an average of 12 to 13 viewers and 50 subs a month. On Twitch, 100 subs would make you $250, but on Kick, 
50 subs would make you 237. From my perspective, if you already have an active and loyal community, taking them to kick will be much more financially beneficial for you. However, if you are in the building stages of your live streaming journey, I would stay building your viewership on Twitch. If I came back to streaming tomorrow, where would I choose? Truthfully, I would go with Twitch because of the audience that it has. If you have a business mindset like the owner of Stake, it's not about the direct revenue from kick, it's about the revenue that develops from other avenues. For me, it wouldn't be about the Twitch payouts, more so as how I could leverage this audience to make more money than even a kick payout. To be honest, I'm definitely considering coming back to streaming soon. I'd like to coach you guys live and have live calls with struggling streamers so I can give you direct advice, which will help anyone watching because they can apply all this to their own streams. If you are interested in watching this someday, make sure that you follow me on Twitch. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If this is your first time seeing me, I hope that it won't be your last as I have multiple videos that will give you the knowledge that you need to be the best version of yourself, streaming or not. If you don't know, it's been my lifelong goal to reach 100,000 subscribers and I have a huge video planned for when I reach that milestone. My life has been very eventful from the beginning and I will be telling my full life story in a draw of my life video as soon as I reach 100,000 subscribers. I will be explaining all of the hardships that I've had to go through in life, my own struggles with it, how I created my first business, how I used marketing to grow on Twitch in my first month of streaming, and much, much more. If you are interested in hearing this full story, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and stay on the lookout for my draw of my life video. I know 100,000 may seem far away, however, it'll happen quicker than you think. Again, thank you a lot.